Alright, this one's my next one. It's a basket case. The lady's son who owns it went to fix it and he disconnected everything. The carburetor's flopping, the top's flopping, the gas tank's flopping, the uh, automatic choke is sitting there loose, the handlebars fall to the ground. So that's the first thing I'm going to fix on this guy is that. I think I can do it. We'll see. I don't know if these are the right bolts or not, but it's a start. I see there's a, a square there and a roundy hooser there. And we'll just at least get something to get to screw into there so that we can tilt the lawnmower. Now I can get it onto the lift. I don't know if those are the factory ones or not. That seems to work. A little bit high. That's okay. Problem number one solved. Let's get it up on the lift and have a little closer look. The thing that bothered me the most was this. Just a tiny bit of oil on the tip. But I know that there's a lot of stuff that's missing. But they, they did bring me, FYI, a new filter. There's the cover. There's the old filter. There's the cover for the, uh, it just covers up the spring for the auto choke. And then the, the bits and bobs, as they say. And uh, that is a good one. That's for the tank. And the rest of these hold things down like the uh, gas tank and stuff. So that's what I've got. Wish me luck. I've invited the, the kid over that took it apart. I've invited him over to see what we can come up with. Oh yeah, look at that. He's even got the uh, governor disconnected from the carburetor. Is that fuel tank disconnected too? Yes, it is. He's got a look at that. He's got a plug in the fuel tank right there. So that's going to be fun. I think if I should have between him and me, I should have enough parts. This little spring, I believe, is for the uh, automatic return on the choke. And look at this. I should, I do think it was in there. Yes, there it is, right there. Well, that should be fun. They're not always fun. Dude, bye. I forgot to mention this is a farm, a farm machine, so there may be a new belt required here. And it looks like it's up as tight as it can go. Oh no. So let's just rotate that and see where we end up. I'll put you guys up on the on the shelf and you can look down. Tend to one with belt is shredded because it doesn't want to move, right? No? Boy, these are tough belts, man. No? Nope. Round and round she goes. So I might just take it up and blow it off right now. That was fun. Alright, my friends. This is the uh, basket case. Briggs and Stratton Quantum Easy Walk Sears. I'm going to just, before I try and start it, or even, I can't start it, but I might be able to make it fire because the gas tank's off, the, the carburetor's off, you can see it's loose. I'm going to take all this loose stuff off so that we kind of know where we are. 
I got to put some oil in it because it's right now it's not even on the tip of the dipstick and I really hope the young man that worked on this dumped the oil out and didn't try and work on it without oil in it. So I'm going to put oil in it, see if it fires, see how it feels and then we'll start putting it back together again. So I'm not going to bore you with that, it's just a couple of just a couple of easy things. We'll leave the camera right here and I'll come back. Okay, now the tank is off. We're going to take the, the uh, filter intake off. There's one screw holding that on. And ultimately cool, the tube is still there. So that's cool. And she's got the screws in the in the bag, so we will continue to do so. I didn't lose them. No worry. Oh, I put them in the bag. Okay. So now, the carburetor. Three eighths. Okay, there's the carburetor. Right now it's just connected to the to the governor by a spring. We'll hook that back up. Hmm, maybe not. There we go. And the only other thing is this. And it's totally disconnected. I just hope it doesn't get damaged when we try and start it. So now the big thing is do we have a spark? So let's just uh, put our, our spark detector right in line with the spark plug. And clamp the dead man right. There. And now I'm just going to pull that a little bit. I'll just make sure we're still recording. Good. And I'm just looking right there. If you guys are looking down that direction. I think you are a little bit. Hey. And I want to see a flicker right there. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay. So now. This is the big test. Excuse me, you guys are in the way. We gotta get some oil in her. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna work on the oil. Okay, so I've got the uh, lawnmower on its side and we're just draining the last of the oil. So it looks like to me the, the kid that was working on this or the young man that was working on this uh, did drain the oil. I don't think the engine oil would be that low. It, uh, and if it was, we would have evidence of oil leaks and we don't. Okay. So, let's just put it back on the lift. Okay, still a tiny bit. Okay, so here's a half a liter of the very best. So I'm just going to let that let that drain. You'll see how clean these end up just draining themselves if you leave them alone. And now we'll put the mower back on the stand. And uh, we'll step two of this operation. And I'll be right back. I just don't want the flywheel to catch this. But we're just going to fire the engine for a few seconds, right? Thanks. Alright, we're going to disconnect this. We're not going to connect that up again for a bit. 
I'm going to uh, just pull on this cord and see if we can circulate some of that oil. Where'd we put the uh, the dipstick? Right here. There. Now we can circulate the water. Now I was going to take the spark plug out and put gas right in the cylinder. But I'm going to go with plan B first, and we're just going to tilt, the, tilt this guy and squirt some fuel right into the intake. That's right where the carburetor goes, eh? And if I'm lucky, it'll catch and I can make it run for a little bit. Is that coming out? Wouldn't that be nice? No, but there is better. Okay, so I'm going to have this ready to go if it takes. Are you ready? Are we lined up? I don't think so. Could be exciting. We may have to put fuel into the cylinder. Oh, ha, ha, I did it again, Nick! Gonna go now. Missed the hole. Let's do it again. you guys know that's dangerous to do right I can't say do this at home in fact don't do this at home uh, unless you have the confidence and the ability to not hurt yourself okay so now I'm gonna take this is this is going it's going good so far I want to have a little bit of a look at a few things so let's lift up the mower I see something right now. We'll do it later. Good. A little bit of crud left underneath this. Wow, eh? This this drive was was jammed up. Yeah, I think we can afford to lose a little air, make a little mess. guys still watching okay so I wanted to look at the underside of this thing Ooh, I'm gonna blow a little bit more of this crap out of there Okay, that was icky. The critter was living in there. That's probably where all these teeth marks on the on the pulley were, right? 
All right, so now I wanted to tip this over backwards and find the battery. The wires go into this side over here. And we have to lower the lower the unit down a little bit. Yeah. Now, as soon as, I, as soon as I do this, about 40 things come to mind, right? First of all, we're going to see if the blade or the, the uh, crankshaft are bent. And I just take a reference, about a centimeter there, unplug the spark plug, and tr from there to there. No, it's good. Okay, step one. I don't see a cover for this guy. Hey? Now, the other thing, I think the battery is in... Ooh. Gas tank grommet. Where's the battery? I think it's underneath this piece of plastic. Number one, to lighten up the load, and number two, so that we can uh, get rid of any more mice nests or anything that are in here. Let's just stand it back up and have a look under here. Ah, there we go. So this is what I do on these. I got a special stick. I right know. You got the... This is my special hold up the bag. The absent bag holder tricker owner. Does that come out? Maybe. Good enough. Okay, so we've got right over here now. We're going to take off one, two, three, at least three, five sixteenths. Come over here and we'll do this together. Three. You gotta love that, huh? Put these over here. Now we're gonna tilt this back one more time. And I just want to make sure you're recording. Here we go. This should come off. And it does! <laughs> Oh my lord, that is just gunk and a battery. It looks like foam. Now let's just check and see if any of these leads are, uh, are broken. Look at the fluff under there. Can you guys believe that? Now we may not put that battery back in there. It doesn't look like mice nests because I don't see any droppings. Eh? Oh, that's definitely a, a, a filter or something. Alright. I'm just going to wipe this out. When you got your own shop, you can set it up the way you like. And I have most everything on the wall or close by. Hmm. <laughs> and I muck around trying to make a huge decision as to where to put a piece of stick. from just the battery compartment. So the new owners of this machine don't want a electric start, I don't think. So we're going to just put this back together forthwith. 
it's tricky because the wiring for the battery is inside this plastic housing and it keeps falling out on me. So we're going to just do this. Good. So let's do this big boy first. That one. And this one. No wires hanging out. Alright my friends. I think I'm going to lower the back wheels a little bit again. To four. I like that height. Go two and a quarter inches to the blade. And there's a little bit of crud in there. I'm using a lot of air for this guy to keep get the... So now my next mode of operation, mode operandi. See if I wanted to impress people, I could not. Heads down. We're going to take the head, we're going to take the cover off this. We're going to take the cover off this here long rate. Because we have to reconnect the automatic choke. So there's going to be three three eight or four three eights, but one's been taken off. And a dipstick. So let's do this. You guys are watching, right? I have to check you once in a while. Good. That one's missing. You don't know what you've been missing, old boy. Oh, 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 oh. Alrighty then. It's been worked on. Now, when we take this off, hopefully nobody's been in here. But with that missing bolt, you never know, eh? And just because we heard it run, that doesn't mean it's gonna run, right? Okay, so this guy. Right now we are in the automatic choke area. And this guy goes up against that guy like that. But why he's so far back, I don't know. Unless it's... Something's not right here. I have to think about this. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is where it's very, very nice to have used equipment that you can compare to. This one sits, this is the temperature sensitive device that puts the, that helps to put the choke on and off. And it sits behind here, but it sits here at this angle. And this one is not damaged. And this one is. So we have the beautiful thing of the used part. I'll be right back. Okay, we need a 7 16 socket to remove this muffler. Because the heat sensitive uh, what do they call those? Uh, bi-metal strips. Pardon me. Heat sensitive bi-metal stripper behind the muffler. Alright, I get into what I'm doing and I forget to talk. Okay, let's take this muffler off of here. So it was actually warm. Uh, okay. It was actually warm to the touch after just running that engine for just a few seconds, huh? I like these big, big mufflers for six horsepower quantums. They're nice and quiet. Okay. So we got this and this. This was on here. Oh, we got one on each side. And it looks pretty toasted, doesn't it? Compared to that. But there's a seal on the front and a seal on the back. And there's nothing on this one. So we're just going to go like that and whoop, drop it. Easy. And then we hold our lips just right and put this on like that. And we should be able to guide this back on here. If you 
You ready? I don't like stripping stuff. Who does, right? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to get a little 7 16 wrench and make sure that's tight. Okay, this is made by Gray. You tool guys understand that's a good machine. It's a good wrench, eh? And then we fold with confidence. Oh, that's way better. With confidence, we fold these tabs back. That'll do. Okay, replaced. Now, Papa San. We're going to keep that. We're going to bend it back to the shape and, and we're going to keep it. So, the next thing, did I keep this plastic thing down here? Yes, it is. Hit. I said it here. The next thing we got to do is get the carburetor clean. Well, we got to get some more crud out of here. I have. One of the not dirtiest but grassiest lawnmowers I've ever seen. Uh oh. Hang on, we're almost there. All right. So now we have to make sure that the carburetor is going to be okay before we put the rest of this together. Because the other end of this, um, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> did I blow it off into space? Anyway, I'll find it. But the carburetor has to be on here, and then the choke arm is connected to across to here. But I'm going to take a quarter inch drive right now. If I ever get the opportunity, I tighten up that intake manifold. So it's quite interesting actually. The intake manifold, the actual valve intake is, oops, is here. But if you look, that goes all the way underneath the coil and comes out here. And then the carburetor mounts are there. All right? So we have to get make sure this carburetor is clean. It, I don't know. It, I got a good feeling about it. You know, you just get a feeling about things. So I'll be right back. I'm going to open up that carburetor. I found it. It was right here. So it's going to rotate on the carburetor like that. Right? We have to get that carburetor checked. So come with me. Time and space. Okay, carburetor, half inch wrench. We're just going to have a little. Just a little glimpse into this guy. Feels, you know what? It feels clean. Oh, a little bit of scunge. Okay, let's just keep going here. No, I think it's going to be fine. Let me just get a little bit of juice and we'll squirt that. Can you guys see that? Right there. I just see a little bit of greenness here. That's all that's uh, got me concerned. Good. Okay. First of all, we'll see if we can shoot through the emulsion tube. Yep. Next is from in here to a vent on the front. Good. And then the other vent on the front should go back into the body. Uh, yeah, it should go back into the body. I felt a clog though. 